chasing a Nissan on ridiculous rims, a Prius full of teenagers versus a Charger, and the undercover operation caused the accident. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'd be happy to respond to your comments below the video. On June 10th, 2023, at approximately 10.09 p.m., I was sitting stationary at the way station on Interstate 40 westbound at the 283 mile marker when I observed a gray Nissan Altima traveling at a high rate of speed of 86 miles per hour in a posted 65 mile per hour zone. As the gray sedan passed, I merged into traffic to conduct a traffic stop. I activated my blue lights and sirens. Following the car for a short distance, the driver did not show any indications of pulling to the shoulder. Corporate Billy Martin advised dispatch, we were in pursuit. After the tactical vehicle intervention, the driver removed himself from the vehicle and fled east on foot. I intercepted him while he was running towards me. I couldn't tell what the subject had in his hand while running. I told him to get on the ground multiple times. He jumped over the concrete barrier and began running across the westbound lanes. As I caught up to him, he realized there was no escape in apprehension. He surrendered and I placed handcuffs on him. Corporal Billy Martin and I stood him up walked him back to the eastbound side, searched him, and sat him in the car. The chase begins when a police officer spotted a Toyota Prius, which ignoring him was traveling well over the speed limit and refused to stop.
At this point, the police officer noticed that there were three people in the car and should have been prepared to try to escape on foot. The police officers decided to swap places because the Chevy Tahoe lacks the maneuverability and speed to successfully and safely perform the pit maneuver. After an unsuccessful pit maneuver, the priest decided to try to escape into a busy, densely populated area, but came to a dead end. They couldn't escape on their own two feet either. All suspects were arrested and taken to the police station. On Wednesday, May 11, 2022, the Arkansas Community Corrections Special Response Team requested assistance with the apprehension of a state parole absconder at the Spanish Willow apartment complex at 7510 Geyer Springs Road. The vehicle proceeded forward before striking a street light pole with the front of the vehicle, causing the vehicle to become disabled. The driver then exited the vehicle through the front passenger door and began to flee on foot. I was able to catch the driver, later identified as Malik Reeves, and detain him on the ground until additional troopers could arrive. Mr. Reeves was then placed under arrest in handcuffs. During a search incident to arrest, I located an empty Glock magazine in the right rear pocket of Mr. Reeves' pants. After conducting a registration check on that name, I was able to determine Mr. Reeves provided me with a false name and learned that Mr. Reeves was also a state probation absconder. Mr. Reeves also showed to have two additional warrants, one out of Pulaski County Sheriff's Office and one out of Gregg County, Texas. Thanks for watching and have a great day.